Good Friday morning, lads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Moose Santos, and this is your KWHS News. Thank you. The new phone book's here! The new phone book's here! Well, I wish I could get that excited about but Nothing! Are you kidding? Page 73, Johnson, Maven, R... I'm somebody now! Millions of people look at this book every day! This is the kind of spontaneous publicity, your name in print, that makes people! I'm in print! Things are going to start happening to me now. Glads, we hope you get to see your name in print today at Yearbook Distribution so that things can start happening to you. No, no, no. We mean for you. If you have not purchased your yearbook, you can get one today, but you will need cash money and the cost is $70. Oh, and Glads, our yearbook staffers will also have Sharpie pens for sale, so bring some extra cash with you this afternoon to get yours. All seniors will be dismissed to the small gym and then those students who purchase books will be asked to join the seniors in the small gym. Teachers, <laughs> Mrs. Kennedy sent you a list of students who bought books, so please Please check it. For those of you wanting to buy your book today, you will be sent to the small gym after those students. And now, here's the news our seniors can use. Seniors, if you haven't started cleaning out your locker, you might want to do that today and Monday. Monday, May 13th is the first day for final exams for periods 5, 6, and 7. It is a full day schedule. Tuesday, May 14th, we'll have finals for periods 1 through 4, then lunch and then final checkout during fifth hour. If you have cleared your conditions and have had your locker checked off, you can leave campus after you complete your checkout sheet. On Wednesday, May 15th, come celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2019 at Senior Awards Night. It starts at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Glad, pat yourselves on the back. You have earned over $3 million in scholarships and awards. That's truly remarkable. If you want to attend the Senior Breakfast, get those tickets today. They are $22 in the business office. The breakfast is on Thursday, May 16th at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Remember, you cannot buy tickets at the door. Friday, May 17th, is the grad walk at Whitefield Elementary. Wear your cap and gown and join classmates in inspiring younger students. Meet Mr. Baldwin in the Counseling Center at 10 a.m. to participate in this very cool event. Otherwise, seniors must be in Bowers Dim at noon for mandatory graduation practice. Do you have chills yet? I do. Our big day is Saturday, May 18th. Our showtime is 7.30 in the small gym. And seniors, even though graduation starts at 9 a.m., we have to be ready to go before them. So please Please be here early. This is not the day to be late. Underclassmen, our final exams begin on Monday, May 20th, with periods 1, 2, and 3. It will be a full day. This will be the designated day to clear out our lockers, so start doing that early. Remember to bring a bag or a box with you to take your stuff home. We'll have exams for periods 4 and 5 on Tuesday, May 21st. This will be an early release day, so please plan your transportation home. Finally, Wednesday, May 22nd, will be our last day of school, and we'll have exams for periods 6 and 7. If you have cleared your conditions, you are free to go and get your summer started. If not, prepare to wait in line to clear conditions. Glads, as those exams get closer, if you need some support studying for them, why not sign up in the library for a tutoring appointment with an NHS member? Those appointments are on Thursdays during advisory until finals week. Oh yeah, and the library would like their books back. If you haven't returned your books, you now have a fee on Infinite Campus you must clear before you leave. Bring those books back. Look under the bed, in your closet, under the seats, or the trunk of the car. In your backpack, just bring them back. The library will start a new summer checkout program next Wednesday. But if you you haven't returned those books you have out, you cannot participate. Yet another reason to bring those books back to the library. And now, we're headed to the sports desk with Ethan Simon. What's the good news, Ethan? Sports time! Happy Friday, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your last Gladiator Sports Update of the school year. Glads, if you're interested in running for student cabinet next year, please see Ms. Melton in room 103 to pick up your election materials. Petitions are due today, and elections will be held next week on Wednesday and Thursday. See Ms. Melton and get your campaign ready. And best of luck to everyone running. In tennis news, our Lady Glads are sending eight players to the state tournament today and tomorrow. Best of luck, ladies. Gentlemen, we haven't forgotten about you. If you are 
interested in playing tennis in the fall, Mr. Portugal is having an informational meeting today at lunch in room 115. If you can't make it, check in with Mr. Portugal after school in room 115. He will be sharing his summer plans with you at this time. In track and field news, our Gladiator competitors are headed to the Metro League Championships. We know several Glads will move on to the state competition, and we wish them the best of luck in all phases of their competitions. Swing into your weekend at the WHS Auditorium tonight when the District 3 Jazz Festival kicks off at 6.30 p.m. Some of the best musicians from all of our district will be gracing our stage, so come out and give them a listen. It's sure to be an amazing experience. Glads, if you would like to join the marching band as a manager, Mr. King is looking for at least two good Glads to join his organization. If you are interested, see Mr. King in the band room for an application. You won't be disappointed. And finally, here's our last Damon's dose of health for the year. Take it away, Mr. Damon. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health, today's Babyface edition, and we're going to be talking about how to make the very most of your summer. With making the most of our summer, we're going to talk about three things you shouldn't do and ten things you should really strive to do. So our three don'ts. First one is, don't spend your whole summer sleeping in until noon. Number two, don't talk about your activities without putting any type of plan into action. Number three, don't spend the whole summer staring at your phone, TV, or just playing video games. 10 things that you can do to make the very most of your summer. Make some goals for yourself and put plans into action. Hikes, places you want to visit, adventures you want to take with your friends. Try something new outdoors. Camping, fishing, hiking, unplug and spend time away from technology. Pick up a new hobby that engages your mind. Spend quality time with friends and family. Read a new and interesting book. Visit a museum, historical site, or do something else in Colorado that tourists do. Take on the mighty incline or plan to hike one of the beautiful 14ers that Colorado has to offer. Volunteer to help other people. I think you guys should wake up early, watch a few sunrises, stay up late, watch a few sunsets, and make sure you take plenty of pictures of making memories. Thanks guys, have a great summer. Thanks for all those helpful tips this year. We appreciate all you've done for us. That's all I have for you today. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Moose. Have a great Friday and summer. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glad. If you dropped the ball and need to take those classes you slept through, registration for summer credit recovery classes is going on right now, and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and runs until July 28th with the orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. Get back on track to graduate on time. Alrighty, we're heading over to the cafeteria for the last time this year to hear what Miss Bessie's got cooking for us today and Monday. Hey, it's all over. This will be the last time I'm here in the storeroom. We're getting down to bare nothing in here. Um, for the rest of the school year, for those that are still with us, the seniors are going to be gone on Tuesday. Um, it'll be just a variety of sandwiches, hot and cold, and all some fun things. So. Um, you all have a great summer. Congratulations to the graduates, and we'll see you again next year. Pay them charges. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, get those outstanding lunch charges paid. Or if you have excess money on your account, see Miss Betsy for a refund. Glads, if you aren't sure whether or not you are in conditions, you can check Infinite Campus for any outstanding conditions. Remember, everyone, but especially seniors. You must clear your conditions before graduation, so get started now. Okay, on to locker information. Now hear this. Lockers for next year will not automatically be issued to us. So, if you want a locker for next year, find yourself a partner and then sign up for the limited number of lockers we have available in the main office. See Mrs. Price in the office for more details. Glads, as you're cleaning out your lockers for the summer and you found those school supplies you should have been using all year long, or still have some that are in good shape, consider recycling them. The Environmental Club will happily take those spirals, binders, paper, writing utensils, and any other usable school supplies off your hands. You can bring your items to the Social Studies office in room 211 or room 204 with Mr. Cummings. There will also be tables on locker cleanout day where you can leave your serviceable materials. Finally, we'd like to take a bit of our time to thank everyone who has helped us make KWH just what it is this year. We know it takes time to do your jobs, and we appreciate that you allow us to interrupt your day and let us take students out of your classes to help us out. It truly does take a village to make this broadcast what it is, and we just wanted to say thank you. That's all we have today. I'm Corinne McAfee. Best of luck to our seniors, and good luck to everyone on finals. 
And signing off for the last time, I'm Moose Santos, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great summer.